Former NFL star and New England Patriot Aaron Hernandez was convicted this morning of first degree murder in the shooting death of Odin Lloyd, the boyfriend of Hernandez's girlfriend's sister. He was also found guilty of unlawful possession of a firearm and ammunition and was sentenced to life in prison without possibility of parole. The prosecution says that Lloyd was last seen alive on June 17, 2013 at approximately 2.30 a.m. with Hernandez and Hernandez's friends Ernest Wallace and Carlos Ortiz. His body was found later that day riddled with bullets. Hernandez has been on trial since late January of this year. The prosecution took great pains to prove their case, calling over 130 witnesses to the stand over three months. They were not able to confirm a motive, but assassinated Hernandez's character, portraying him as icy and insecure, the kind of man who would murder over disrespect or a perceived slight. For example, they show that after Lloyd's body was found, Hernandez didn't care, instead openly discussing how his endorsement deals had dried up. That is perhaps due to two other open murder cases in which he's also the lead suspect. One of which, which may have been over a spilled drink at a club. The jury was not aware of these open cases until they read the verdict this morning and felt vindicated in their decision. One juror said that he felt that they did the right thing. Another said, however, that if Hernandez had testified in the trial, that maybe their decision could have been swayed. Though it seems that the jury convicted the right man, it's important to note that the murder weapon was never recovered. Though security footage from Hernandez's home shows him holding a 45 caliber handgun, the same kind of gun that was used to kill Lloyd. Hernandez has pled not guilty to the other murder cases, which will go to trial as early as this May. Ernest Wallace and Carlos Ortiz are also charged with murder, and they will go to trial potentially this spring. So now we want to hear from you. Do you agree with this verdict, or do you feel that the evidence was insufficient to convict? Let us know in the comments. I'm Matt Lieberman. I'm Wei May. Thanks for watching. According to North Korean textbooks, Kim Jong-un learned to drive at the age of three. Of all the things to lie about, why that? She stands alone as the champion of her party and possibly will be the first female president in American history.